Let's look back at highlights then from race number two. A very frantic and chaotic start indeed as uh, Cosmo jostling for position. Fran Aroda was challenging on the outside of the Oregon Lamborghini there. Pierre-Louis Chauvet with Chauvet jamming it up the inside and holding on to the lead as a few cars had to take to the escape road on the opening lap. Turn 15 seemed to catch out quite a few people. Cat Patrick Kolb and uh, uh, Alfredo uh, Renauer were running wide uh, on a couple of occasions and then two spins in two separate incidents uh, hit the final corner there. Christopher Hasser made his way up the order in the early stages of the race, first passing Fran Rueda, and the AM battle was absolutely fierce as well. Unfortunately, it caught out Christian Korsanowski, who went for a spin on the exit of turn 12. The lead changed hands uh, a couple of times. We had uh, Haasa putting the pressure on Chauvet despite getting it wrong all over the curb there and having to collect the car. But a brilliant run out of the chicane here. And he would put in a monster move as they rose up the hill side by side into scene corner. Haasa right round the outside of one of the fastest corners we race on in the calendar. Haasa would hand over the car to Simon Riker and he would come out ahead of Maximilian Paul. Late podium fight as well as uh, Diego Manchaca and Marcos Seabair made their way up into third place ahead of the uh, uh, Porsche. And the lead battle continued as Maximilian Paul got up the inside at the final corner. Simon Riker wouldn't take it lying down. They would be side by side around the whole straight. But Maximilian Paul consolidating the lead and taking a second victory in three races for the number 63 crew.